Grocery store owner in Philadelphia says he will rebuild after his store was completely destroyed by looters. For 15 hours, he waited for police. As Les Trump reports, it's not just the loss of one man's business, but the loss of a lifeline for the community. Oh, my God. A shopper cannot believe what she sees when she enters her local supermarket to buy groceries for her family. This is sad. This is sad. For 15 hours straight, looters have laid waste to the store. Some of them are still inside. This is the problem. This surveillance video shows the first moments of the break-in. And this was the scene at the shop right today. A heavy National Guard presence. Everything here wiped out. No meat left on the counters. Look at this. Rib chop, chop right there, barbecue spare ribs. Local resident Rashawn Howard went on Facebook to plead for help. Come down here and help us clean this shot right, please. I spoke with him today. For an owner that does so much for our community, that, the, that gives people second chance opportunity to work. These are African Americans in this community that he employs and you destroying this market like this now unemploys them for weeks. Sandy Brown and her husband own the shop right. Did anyone call the police? Numerous times. What happened? Um, nobody would come. And uh, we were very distraught, my husband and I. It was a very helpless feeling. The store was the lifeblood of the neighborhood in West Philadelphia. This is your neighborhood shop, right? Where you eat, where you shop, where you get your food. I need somebody to please explain to me how this represents getting justice for George Floyd. The mayor and police commissioner toured the wreckage and were <laughs> shouted down by local <laughs> residents who are now faced with the grim reality that their supermarket is no more, at least for now. Wow, wow, wow.